Hello and welcome. My name is Gunnar Hillert and I'm a committer on the Spring Degradation project. In this screencast, I would like to show you how to easily create Spring Degradation projects using the recently released Spring Source Tool Suite 2.9. In order to start a new project in SDS using Spring Templates, go to File, then New, and then Spring Template Project. The Template Selection screen will show up next. It provides a list of all available Spring templates, including three new templates that specifically target Spring Degration. Let's select the Spring Degration Project standalone simple template. This template will create a project that is started from the command line and uses core Spring Degration components only. When you press Next, you will get to the Project Settings screen. Here you can provide a project name as well as certain properties that make it easy to deploy your newly created project to a Maven repository. In fact, besides creating the Eclipse specific project files, this template wizard will also generate a project palm, which will make this project easily usable outside of SDS as well. Therefore, let's provide a project name first, we call it demo, and then we provide a group ID Org dot spring integration. We enter an artifact ID. Let's call it demo. We keep the version number there. And then we also need to provide a top level package name where your relevant source files will be located. Org dot spring integration dot demo. Once you press finish, the project will be created. At this point, you now have a fully functional Spring integration project. Let's open the project. And you have your base package here, org spring integration dot demo. And there you will find the main class, which you can execute by making a right click, run as Java application. And the application should start up. This created project now allows you to enter text via the command line. So let's enter spring integration, press return, and the entered string will be capitalized and returned to the console. Besides doing this in SDS, you can also start the project very simply from the command line using Maven. In order to do so, let's go to the terminal. Let's go to the project folder. And in here, we will execute MVN package exec colon Java. What this will do is it will build and package the application, execute the application using the exec Maven plugin. Press return. And the application will start up very similar to what you've seen in SDS. We can enter an input string as well. Let's do spring integration here, press return, and the input string has been capitalized. Let's press Q to quit the application and we will return to SDS. Underneath, of course, spring integration is used to make all this happen. You can find the relevant Spring application context file under source main resources, meta inf spring integration, and there you see spring integration context.xml. Let's open this file, maximize it. The application basically consists of a very basic spring integration flow. We start with a simple gateway, 
that will dispatch a message via the request channel to a service activator. The service activator itself will use the input string from the message payload and through Spring expression language, the input string will be converted to uppercase. Here we have the gateway, request channel, and the service activator. As you see, this is a very simple use case, but it provides you with a nice starting point to implement your own Spring integration based applications moving forward. For more information on Spring integration, please visit our project website at www.springintegration.org. Thank you very much.